Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Finding the value of x. From here, we have. Let's look at the method one of solving this. From here, we are given square root of three raised to the power x. Then inside that, we still have square root of nine raised to the power x. Then again, we have square root of 81 raised to the power x and this is equals to 81 here let's square both sides we we'll square this side then we we'll square this side and then from this side this square will remove the square root then this become 3 raised to the power x multiplied by square root of 9 raised to the power x then square root of 81 raised to the power x equals to 81 square. Then in the next step, we square both sides again. We square this side. Also, we square this side. Then from here, this square will affect 3 raised to the power x and we also affect this square root. So square 3x then raised to power 2 will give us 3x 3 raised to power 2x because this power multiply then times this square cancel square root we only have 9 raised to power x then times square root of 81 raised to power x which is equal to here we can multiply this power and this will be 81 raised to power 4 and in the next step Let's change this side to half base 3. Then we have 3 raised to the power 2x times 3 raised to the power 2. Also times x as 2x. Then times square root of 3 raised to the power 4 times x as 4x. Then equals to we have on this side as well. We have 3 raised to the power 4. Then raised to the power 4. Then, in the next step, we can bring this together. Since they have same base, then we add the power. So we have 3 raised to the power 2x plus 2x. Then multiply by here. This square root can be written as raised to the power half. So we have 93 raised to the power 4x. Then raised to the power half. Then equals to here, this power multiply this 3 raised to the power 16 from here. 4 times 4, 16. And this 2 here, we go in 4, that's 2. So we have 3 raised to the power 2x left here. So this already add up to 3 raised to the power 4x. Then multiply by 3 raised to the power 2x again. Which is equals to 3 raised to the power 16 from here. And then uh, in the next step as well, we have same base, we can add this power. So we have 3 raised to the power 4x plus 2x equals to 3 raised to the power 16. And here we have 3 raised to the power 6x equals to 3 raised to the power 16. And then uh, since we have same base now, we equate the power and we have 6x equals to 16. Divide both sides by 6. We have 6 cancel 6 here we have x equals to we can divide this by 2 and this will be 8 over 3 so we have x equals to 8 over 3 from here and let's use the second method we have method 2 from here we are given square root of 3 raised to the power x then square root of 9 raised to the power x also in that inside that square root of 81 raised to the power x which is equal to 81 and from here using this method we can separate these square roots and then this will be square root of 3 raised to the power x times here 9 raised to the power x is inside two square roots so we have square root of then square root of 9 raised to the power x the first one outside and the one inside here 
then multiply by 8 1 raised to the power x here contain 3 square root we have square root of square root of then square root of 81 raised to the power x equals to 81 and uh, from here when we have square root of a this is same thing as a raised to the power half so square root is same thing as power of half in indices and also when we have square root of square root of a this will give us a raised to the power half the first one then again raised to the power half the second one and uh, since this power multiply half times half that will be a raised to the power 4 then also when we have square root of square root of square root of a that is 3 times this will be a raised to the power half the first one then times a times half again then also times power of half again and since this power multiply this will give us a raised to the power 1 over 8 and then when we apply this here we have this square root of 3 raised to the power x can be written as 3 raised to the power x then raised to the power half then multiply by square root of square root of many x raised, nine raised to the power x it can be written as nine raised to the power x raised to the power 1 over 4 then times here we can write it as 81 raised to the power x then raised to the power 1 over 8 and then which is equals to 81 and in the next step we simplify further applying the law of indices let's change what we have inside all those brackets to have same base then we have already 3 raised to the power x times half that's 3 raised to the power x over 2 times here we can write this as 3 raised to the power 2 then times x that's times x then raised to the power 1 over 4 times here 3 raised to the power 4 then x now raised to the power 1 over 8 which is equal to 81 from here then in the next step we have this 4 here since they multiply 1 over 4 multiply this 2 year 1 2 year 2 so we have 1 over 2 times x which is x over 2 so 3 raised to the power x over 2 times 3 raised to the power x over 2 then also times 4 also goes here 1 4 go here 2 that's 3 raised to the power x over 2 then equals to 81 then from here we have when we bring this together as one, they have the same base. We have 3 raised to the power x over 2 plus x over 2 plus x over 2 equals to 3 raised to the power 4 here. Then from here, we have this. We can bring it together. S came there is T2. Then we have x plus x plus x which is equals to 3 raised to the power 4 and uh, x plus x plus x that's 3x so we have 3 raised to the power 3x over 2 equals to 3 raised to the power 4 the base are equal we quit the power we have 3 raised to the power we have 3x now over 2 that is the power equals to 4 this 4 over 1 cross multiply 3x times 1 that's 3x equals to 2 times 4 that's 8 divide both sides by 3 x equals to from here x equals to 8 over 3 which is same thing with what we got in our previous method thank you for watching please share this video also subscribe to my channel for more videos see you next class and bye for now